A carelessly discarded cigarette is the cause of this fire, but home fires can start many ways. Space heaters, wood stoves, faulty electrical equipment, and cooking, among others. In most fires, there is a longer period of time from the appearance of smoke to actual flames. Remember, what you will see and hear was filmed as it actually happened. Thirty seconds from first flame, the sofa ignites. From this point, fire grows rapidly. If you discover a fire, leave immediately and call the fire department from a neighbor's house. One minute, four seconds from first flame, polyurethane cushioning from the couch starts to melt, spreading fire to the rug. Smoke begins to fill the room. One minute, 23 seconds, the stairway to upstairs still clear. Things look safe here in the kids' room, but downstairs the fire continues to accelerate. One minute, 35 seconds. The smoke layer in the living room descends rapidly. Gases flowing out of this room now exceed 190 degrees Fahrenheit. One minute, 47 seconds. Light smoke begins to move to the second floor. One minute, 50 seconds. The smoke detector at the foot of the stairs sounds an alarm, providing warning before exits are blocked. Take action immediately. Crawl low where the air is cleaner. Two minutes, 30 seconds. The temperature above the couch is now 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's over 200 degrees Celsius. Two minutes, 48 seconds. Smoke pours into the dining room. Now only four feet above the floor. Thick black smoke moves rapidly upstairs. Three minutes, three seconds. Melted polyurethane burns under the couch. Suddenly the lampshade ignites. The temperature three feet above the floor in this room is over 500 degrees Fahrenheit. No one could survive. Three minutes, 20 seconds. The upstairs hall is beginning to fill with black acrid smoke, making escape more difficult. From the outside, there may be no evidence of the inferno inside. Three minutes, 41 seconds. The energy in the room suddenly ignites everything. Within one minute, the temperature has risen to over 1,400 degrees. Flash over. The living room windows break out. The entire room fills with flames, forcing huge amounts of smoke and toxic gases throughout the house. Only two minutes after the smoke detector sounded, the lower hallway is dark and filled with smoke. The upstairs hall and stairs now impassable. A second escape route is your only way out. Four minutes, 33 seconds. Only now are flames visible from outside the house. If this fire occurred at night when most fatal fires happen, 
This would be the first exterior evidence of fire in progress. Flames climb up the outside of the house, entering the guest room window. Fire grows so fast that the fire department may not be able to rescue anyone trapped inside. Firefighters wearing protective clothing enter to search the house and to combat the fire. They begin to control the fire, causing steam to pour out of the first floor. Reaching the second floor, firefighters break windows to release heat and then smoke. They open walls to check for fire spread. Not all fires behave like this one. Some will move slower, some faster. But if a fire starts in your home, get out immediately and stay out. You have just seen the power of an uncontrolled fire.